At the point of filming this video, I have just arrived home. I did all my orchid chores, had to leave the patio, and I am ready to wind down. I don't know when you're gonna see this video, be it early in the morning, at night, or during the day, whatever it is, you're seeing an empty staging area. What I do on my evening rounds is have a look around at my beautiful orchids in bloom. So I figured, seeing as sometimes the sun can be a little bit harsh on the eyes, I am going to pull out orchids that are in bloom in the blooming alley. A little bit tough to appreciate because it's kind of darkish over there and a little bit of a tight squeeze. And I'm going to show you some orchid blooms at dusk, with the exception of two. I'm not pulling those out, but I'm going to show you what happened this afternoon just when I got home. Let's see if this table fills up by the end of the video. And besides, the hot winds have arrived. And with those hot winds come extreme low humidity conditions. And that could mean that today we see blooms and tomorrow they're gone. So I want to show you my first time in bloom with three blooms, Lelia gracilis. Look at those, aren't they cute? You see, during the daytime, these would be completely washed out. We wouldn't be able to appreciate the detail. And if I can protect them from the wind, maybe we can see some detail. Aren't they adorable? The third bud just opened this morning. So the other two blooms have already been open for quite some time and I was very concerned we would miss this gorgeous little spectacle of the daisies in the miniature orchid world. Isn't that cute? I love her. <laughs> okay, that's the first one to go on the table. We may be shifting this little presentation around as we fill up the table. Adding to the little daisy spread. Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, this is Lelia Ketiana. She has four blooms for the first time. She looks very much like the Gracilis, but she is a little bit larger in her pseudobulbs and the leaves. So while they could be confused, if you look at them in a picture, they're two different orchids. Aren't they adorable? Let's fill our little table with our orchid daisy blooms. Isn't that cute? You can see how the residual sun still reflects on the blooms, plus the white facade, of course. But wait, there's more. Not an orchid daisy, but a cute little spooky one. <laughs> this is Jumelia Avorescens, her first bloom has opened. Ooh, much? Isn't that just adorable? So I've got plenty more coming. She's going to be busy for the next couple of weeks. These blooms do not last long. And with the hot, dry winds, well, they frazzle quickly. And that is pretty self-explanatory as to why. If you're wondering also why I've got a callus, it's because i got to do a lot of misting this time of year, and I'm loving it. Jumelia aborescens, first bloom. We are in a theme here, can you tell? It's all white. So we gotta watch the fans. We don't want to get anything squashed or broken. We may need to get in a little bit closer, but let's see how we get along with the next orchid. Here is Radiata, Prostechia Radiata. Very delicate blooms. Why am I starting to talk quietly? <laughs> but you can appreciate their detail in this light. These would be completely washed out during the daytime. Very difficult to photograph as well because they also sparkle when the sun shines on them. So it's a complete washout, but not this time of day. You can see we're starting to get some color on our little display. We're still sticking with the whites, the creamy, you know, we're now coming in with a little bit of chartreuse green. Ah, I like that. I like that arrangement. Maybe we're going to have to scooch the tripod just a little bit. Okay, because you can see we're going up in size. <laughs> going up in size means <laughs> the pots are getting heavier. <laughs> we may have to change the format of this video. Look at this. Ooh, this is Prostechia cochleata variety lancifolia. Oh, and she is pungent during the day. She smells like honeysuckle with heavy molasses to boot. It's like wading through a lake of dark dark sugar, like brown sugar, but more than that. Amazing. See all that? Aren't they cute? She could actually go next to the Jomelia because she has 
similar kind of octopus look to her, even though Jomelia is more like Casper, the friendly ghost, you think? Looking okay, no? We're, we're sticking with the theme. Okay, let me see if I can find another one. I'm so excited, I don't want to trip over the tripod. <laughs> Coming into bloom for Dungus Dactylotheras on her new mount. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I don't know how long these blooms are gonna last because it's the first time that she's on a mount and when I missed the orchid, of course, a lot of water drips down onto the blooms. And that's why I'm going to document her now, just so that you know she bloomed and she's doing beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Look at the delicacy of these blooms. Now, let me make sure I don't snap a root to get more of the focus going. Ain't that pretty? It's so pretty, I love them. Not fragrant, but gorgeous nonetheless. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of a fiddle here. Oh goody, she's still in frame. Something like that. Yeah, that works for me, you know? A little bit of artistic impression here. If I were presenting my orchids in an orchid show and I had my own little table, I think this would work. Right, what else have we got? I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, look at that, a little bit of sunshine. Que bonito. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to change the format. Not sure that this is going to work. Let's give it a go, see what happens. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, Rapiculus Lelia fans. This is the big one, Lelia Kautskiana and Bloom. This is not going to work. Okay, I tried. <laughs> Let's get her to a place where we can appreciate her a little bit more close up. You can see the breeze is causing issues. But oh my my, look at this. Oh, <laughs> Anonymous, if you're watching, this is from you. Thank you so, so much. And this breeze thing, it's going to probably knock out my other buds and I'm gonna really be cross with myself for pulling her from her space because I have not moved her in order to protect the buds. I just couldn't resist. And if I lose them, at least we have her documented and I couldn't resist to show her to you. Isn't this awesome? So we had two blooms open in the past days. I've got two, four, six, eight, maybe 10, 11 buds to go. I'm putting her back into the blooming alley and please keep your fingers crossed that she is not going to suffer any bud blast. I would be so mad at myself if that were to happen. Yeah, no, oh my goodness, this is scary. Oh, I wanted the whole spike. Dear Kautzkiana, please don't blast. I was just showing you off. I hope I don't pay the price. Are you that empty? Why are you so light? Huh, you're not empty. Let's stick with the Rapiculus Lelia theme. Ta-da! <laughs> Lelia Zip. Ah, so beautiful. Look at that. This color is true. Oh, and that's why looking at orchid blooms at, the, at dusk is just, it just really, I don't have much explaining to do. I was so hoping the wind would die down for this. Just watch, when I stop recording, it's gonna be dead calm. Amazing, huh? All right, let's put her here. We need to rearrange a little bit. Ooh. Thank you so much for being here. I just started right out of the gate with this video. I appreciate that you're here. Thank you so much. Do you like what you see? Please give this video a like if you do. And if you don't, well, let me know what other orchids you would like to see in bloom. <laughs> Maybe I've got them. Maybe I haven't. I may need to drop the Podangas mount down so that we can get her into the viewfinder. Not entirely sure. Let's keep going. Epidendrum radicans. We have the other buds open and very difficult to photograph during normal daylight. But now, <laughs> we can save ourselves the trouble of explaining the color in true form. This is the true form. Awesome. Insta orchids and ADD. Thank you for this orchid. So we're gonna balance Oranges and reds, hmm, something like that. Maybe she's a bit tall. Well, let's scoot you back a bit. Let's see how we can fill this table to make it look presentable. 
I do think, oh, my poor little Podangas is out of screenshot, but let's keep going. A favorite. <laughs> These blooms look amazing in the sunshine, but they are so psychedelic, it makes your eyes weep. This is a true depiction of the color of the blooms without the requirement of squinting your eyes to appreciate them. Ah, the color, look at that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love that. So we'll have this one over here. I think that looks very, very nice. I think, yeah, but wait, I've got another one and we're gonna balance it out on the other side of the table. Ooh, if we don't get top marks for our presentation, then I don't know what the Ninja Orchids table at an Orchid Society show, huh? Look at this, still got clusters to open. How about that? So one left and one right. Come sa. What do you think? How are we doing? How are we doing? Huh? 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 Let me know in the comments. Do we think any ribbons? Does this warrant any ribbons? Oh, goodness me, at, at least something, no? Because I'm risking bud blast on the Kautskiana. I'm possibly risking bud blast on the Jamelia that I have been protecting in the blooming alley so she wouldn't topple over in the hot wind. What theme are we on? We are on the pinks. So what else have I got that's pink? Oh, that is an orchid I can't move. So B-roll time. Oh my goodness, can you imagine where we would put that totem pole? It would be the centerpiece, the backdrop, and then we'd have the Jamelia in front of those blooms. Ooh, we've got the Papillionanthe red variety under Sonii and the Chao Friar, both in bloom with two spikes at the same time. Mind blown. I've got my little tropical paradise on the west side with those two in bloom. It's just marvelous. These colors are so, so hard to even see, take images of during the day. The Papillionanthe sparkles and they are so wispy, they blow too quickly. But this, Ah, oh, little B-roll. This should be right here on the staging area for our fantastic Ninja Orchids Society table display. And that fragrance of the Chao Prior, if you didn't know, if you're new to my channel, that fragrance is a blueberry candy. It is delicious to say the least. Mouth-wateringly delicious. I don't have to describe the colors. They are perfection from what I can see on the screen. Mwah, chef's kiss. But I think I have another one. We're gonna stick with the color theme, I think. I mean, you know, orchid blooms and their colors. The fashion industry can learn a thing or two about combining colors and make them look beautiful. Look who's opened. Dun, 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 dun. La, 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 la. Catlia Durigan Crucero do Sul. Opened today her last bud. I lost the fourth bud. There was bud blast and unfortunately my four buds, not all of them made it, but I think it's probably a blessing. I know it sounds, <laughs> excuse me, we want all the blooms we can get, but you can see how crowded they are. Still, we're still working with the color theme though, right? Isn't she beautiful? Not quite fragrant yet, but I am expecting something anytime soon. I think she would fit wonderfully here to the left, don't you think? Complementing, let's see. Oh yes, isn't that amazing? Complementing the hibiki pink with her gorgeous lip. Ah, <sighs> now, what have we got missing? There's something a little bit off balance here, isn't there? Yeah, hmm. Let us fill the right side with something as beautifully fragrant as the Zygopetalum Luisendorf. Oh, because it's so windy, we can't really appreciate her entire beauty. I am going to insert some pictures that I took round about this time of day when her blooms freshly open. And yes, I do not have to explain the color either. So I'm gonna put her on the table while you look at those gorgeous, gorgeous images and admire black velvet, if you please. Oh, that was probably completely, utterly, and totally out of tune. Yeah, that's not working for me. I thought that we could get away without any kind of, you know, height enhancing materials. <laughs> but if we're gonna do a display at dusk, we're gonna do it right. Right? Oh yes, 
This is coming together beautifully, beautifully. Where's our sign? Where's our sign? I have one, but it's going to blow away. Anyway, there's still something missing. We've created a balance. Huh, I'm kind of loath to mess up that balance. We've got a good thing going on here. We need to scooch back. Let me think, let me think. What are we going to do? Oh, well, if the judges ding us for putting this off balance, then that's their problem, not ours. We have to bring this orchid out. Hello, anybody in this exhibition hall have a bigger table? <laughs> we have to scooch back even further. Check this out. Okay, inserting a lovely picture of my Vanda Costylus Lucneri, just so that you can see the close-up. You know, she's teetering a little bit on the edge of that staging area. It is difficult to get proper, proper equipment around here just for a nice orchid display. I mean, what does a woman have to do? Anyway, <laughs> we are going to now transition back into the white theme that we started with. An orchid that I'm not bringing out for reasons. She would need something else to lift her up even higher. And that is my Epidendrum Parkinsonianum, still in gorgeous bloom, together with my Kautskiana back there in the cul-de-sac of the blooming alley. Again, please, fingers crossed that none of the Kautskiana buds blast. Unfortunately, it would have been a wonderful color element in this gorgeous display. Still, we got to see her. So I still want those nine blooms in total. Time is of essence when it comes to these warm winds. Do you like this, the display? And while we're at it, do you like the video? And if you do, please give it a like. So like, 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 that'd be awesome. Please subscribe to the channel because <laughs> there's more orchids that are going to bloom imminently, but they're not in bloom, so they don't belong in the display. While spikes are exciting, they don't count when it comes to trying to get an award here. <laughs> Ooh wee, I'm riding out the breeze. There's a big gust that just came through. Ah, nervous. <laughs> Yes, so we've got more spikes coming. However, something happened when I came home this afternoon that I wasn't expecting. Stan the man. I saw a bud crack open. I took a picture. Then I went in and got myself a cup of coffee and I came out and right there before my eyes, the bloom popped open. <laughs> so I took another picture. <laughs> So these images are 15 minutes apart from each other and I am so, so amazed. It was nice to see the first happenings because normally I take Stan the man's towel down when the sun isn't beating down on him anymore. And usually by that time, buds have opened. Then I just get inundated with a wave of that gorgeous big red cinnamon fragrance. So it was lovely to come to the patio and we have gone full circle. We started out with white cutie patootie little orchid daisies and we have returned to white but on the other side of the spectrum, the big ones, the Stanhopia blooms and well, partially that was the inspiration for this video. Do it right there, right now and also appreciate how the dusk light represents the colors of the orchids perfectly. All the judges looking at this display, please leave me your impressions in the comments. I would so appreciate it. On one condition though, please ignore the leaf tips. Please ignore magnesium deficiency. <laughs> Just look at the blooms, okay? Just the blooms. Judge them. It was so much fun putting this together for you. Thank you so very much for watching. Your time is appreciated. I hope that you enjoyed it. Have yourself a fabulous day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.